Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is day 36 out of devotionals and today's devotional is called What is Faith? It says now faith is the substance substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hebrews 11 11. For ye and the other teenage girls in their Sunday school class sat staring at their teacher. She had always been a very good teacher and had usually captured their attention and as a rule they were able to answer her questions without too much difficulty but today it was different they were stumped every one of them none of you seem to be able to describe faith said the teacher maybe it's because we don't really have it admitted Fayi. why you exercise faith every day Fayi wasn't so sure it seemed to her that there wasn't much faith going on in the world anymore. For a moment, her mind went back to the Bible story. She remembered how Moses' mother placed her baby son in a basket in order to spare his life. She knew God would watch over him. Now that was faith. But ye also remember the story of Joseph. His brother sold him as a slave. He was thrown in prison, but through it all, his faith was in God. His brothers did all these things for evil, but God meant it for good. Again, but ye remember the statement Mary and Martha had made when they saw Jesus after their brother had died. If thou hadst been here, my brother had not died. Yes, that was faith. Perhaps an illustration would help, said the Sunday school teacher. As you girls came into the class, into the class this morning, you sat down on a chair. You had faith that the chair would hold you. The girls laughed. There was no question in your mind but that you would be comfortably seated all throughout the lesson. That's faith, but it's faith in a chair. We need to put our faith in Christ, and we need to do it exactly the same way we did today. There should be no question in our minds but that God will do things right and in the, time, in the right time. Completely believing, completely trusting, never doubting, that is faith. Joining the Believing Squad, I will put my faith in God. Additional reading out of the Bible, Hebrews chapter 10, verses 36 through 38, and Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. Here's my Bible. I have it with me today. I um, hope you guys are having a great day. Um, so, I will look for it right now. Verse 6 through 38. 36 through 38. Says, For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of God, ye might receive the promise. For yet a little while, he, and he that shall come will come, and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. And then Hebrews 11, 6 says, But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So we may be asking today, what is faith? Well, no questions asked, but it is believing that Believing in the impossible, it is believing that something good is going to come out of a bad situation. It is trusting in God, simply trusting in God. And you may be wondering why, why, why is that the definition? Well, because it is the definition. It is the definition of faith, and that is what faith is. And you may be wondering, well, I never knew this before. Well, you know now. You know what faith is now. And you have that in God. And that's why you're watching this today. It's because you believe in God. And even if you don't, it's not too late to turn to God. Because God loves you. And God wants you to have a relationship with him. Yes, it's not forced. It's not forced to have a relationship with God. It is a choice. It is a choice to either live for the world or live for God. And for us Christians, we need to be living for God and not living for the world. 
the world is not going to satisfy us because that's what I learned. I learned that the world will never satisfy me. And I learned that people, that I cannot become popular with people because people are going to let you down. People are going to hurt you. And you can't always trust everybody because at the end of the day, you can always trust God. And God's never going to give up on you. Even when you think you need to give, even when you think that that you're going to give up on God, God will never give up on you and he will always keep fighting for you. That's love. And that's faith. <sighs> no, fighting for somebody else when they are not, even when they're not fighting for you. It's just, that's love. And that's faith. And us Christians these days need to have faith in God. Even through our hard times, we struggle some a lot of times to have faith that God is going to break us out of a bad situation and make us stronger because of it. I'm going to um, share my testimony right now, and it's super personal, so I hope you're ready for a really personal testimony. But in eighth grade, so I was... I came back to public school after I was homeschooled for four years, for about fourth to seventh grade. I went to public school in eighth grade for the first time in four or five years, and it was a struggle. I'll admit it. I struggled to fit in. I switched lunch groups. I was going back and forth on who to sit with. There were days where I sat by myself. There were days where I wondered. When am I going to find the good friends? Where am I going to find the true friends? The good people who are going to stick with me for the rest of my life. Even though at the time, I had met one of my very best friends that I'm still best friends with today. I've known her for almost five years now. And it's kind of crazy that I look back and I'm like, wow. I can't believe it's it's been that long and she's still sticking by me. But anyways, back to my testimony. It's kind of hard to share because it's very personal. But anyway, so I was struggling with who to, um, who to like fit in with. I was like, I want to fit in with people. I want to, at the time, I was like, I want to, I want to look up to them. And I want people who are going to stick with me and are going to be there for me and loyal and honest and stuff. Well, at the time, I didn't even know. I honestly didn't even know um, who was going to fit in. Obviously, I was I was in a lot of drama, 8th grade. I was in quite, quite a bit. Um, figuring out who my true friends were and figuring out who it was really worth um, keeping in my life. I had to let go of a lot of people in 8th grade. Um, and, then back, and then 10th grade, which was my last school year. Um, I went through a lot of situations where I got bullied, harassed, threatened. Um, I often had very negative thoughts. I'm not going to say what they are, but they were very negative thoughts that came through my mind. I was very depressed. That was like my depressed moment in my life where I didn't know if I was going to get out of it. I always came home crying every single day in my sophomore year. I always came home crying every single day because I didn't understand what was going on. I was trying to be around these people. I thought, oh, they're good people. But over time, I realized these are not very good people at all. These are toxic people. And I was in the same situation eighth grade. I got bullied a little bit probably in eighth grade too. But it was even worse in my sophomore year. And I was... I guess I was somehow involved. There was a lot of circles where I was somehow involved in every drama situation. And I got to be honest, at the time, I did not defend my best friend. And I had picked my ex up at the time. And I was, but I should have never picked him because at the end of the day, she was always there for me. And he wasn't. He was, he was just some random guy that I don't even talk to anymore. And he hurt me in the process. And... And was toxic and forced me to do. Ethan called me fat. Maisie, I'm in the middle of a devotional right now. Ethan called me fat. Maisie, close the door, please. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Can I hold on? Can you hold on? Macy, close the door. Go, go. Please, I'm in the middle of a devotion right now. You can't be in here. I'm going to come over up here. Do you want to come in here? Okay, then peace be quiet. I'm in the middle of a devotion right now. Alright, keep doing now. I'm bringing myself up here. Okay, anyways, so this is super personal, but I know this is a lot to take in, um, but I wasn't there for her. I didn't do anything about it. I feel horrible to this day, and I wish I could have been a better friend. But luckily, um, she she's given me another chance, and I don't deserve it. I really don't deserve it. I don't deserve what she can't. I'm in the middle of a devotion right now, so I'm gonna have to lock the door. I'm sorry, she isn't coming in here. Okay. Anyways, back to it. But also ninth. Also, um, the summer after my freshman year. Um, I broke a couple up. I didn't, I didn't exactly break a couple up, but I was trying to break a couple up and I feel horrible because I was also one of my other best friends feel horrible to this day. You know, both of my best friends are giving me a, um, another chance to make things right. And I'm trying to be better and I'm glad they're giving me another chance to be their friend again. Cause I've definitely learned a lot throughout those years and I know I've become a better friend and stuff so, so but it is super personal um the bullies try to wanted to start fights with me and stuff like that um call me horrible names and I had to deal with this every day and yes I, at the time I had picked those bad people over my best friend and that was horrible of me and my sophomore year I did that I was horrible but eventually I cut those people out of my life and and I was still like I really wish I had my best friend back I wish I had messed up I feel horrible because at the end of the day um I could have been better but guess what God brought me out of those bad situations and he, he healed me from everything that has happened in my past. Um, and I have such a strong faith in God now and I have such a strong relationship with God and I've become stronger because of all the situations I went through. And it's not easy to share that stuff because it's super personal but I feel like God wanted me to share this with you today because he was really speaking to me and telling me, you need to share this with, with Christians because they need to hear well, he need to hear your testimony. They need to know what you went through and how you got out of it and how much of a stronger faith in God and in me you have and stuff. But um, basically, no, now I have a stronger faith in God and I have a stronger and closer relationship with God than ever this started half this year it happened actually no not this year it was last year so last year so almost a year ago so almost a year ago i've had a very strong and close relationship with god and a strong faith in god and i'm so grateful and i finally found very good friends that are true friends and are always going to stick with me and i am so grateful that i have those friends I have a bunch of good and true friends and that I can always count on and that are fun to be around and loyal and trustworthy and honest and caring. All those good characters I'm looking for in a friend. But yeah, that was a lot to say. But trust me, if you think that God won't bring you out of a bad situation, you're wrong. He is always there for you and he is always going to bring you out of a bad situation. Even, even if Here. I'm in the middle of a devotional right now. Here. I'm in the middle of a devotional. You can redo it, Cadence. We need you to confirm something. Can you hold on? Can you actually... You can stop doing that for a sec. Please. Sorry about that. 
But I'm just going to end this devotional. I'm sorry you had to hear that. But I'm going to end it right now because I it, it went on long enough. But if you um haven't already, please like, subscribe, turn on those notifications. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope God spoke to you and stay tuned for thir day 37 out of the devotionals. I believe um it'll be called True Friends. And that was pretty much what I'm just just talking about, True Friends. But yeah, um, stay tuned for more. And yeah, I will definitely see you later. Um, bye.